Jason here with a quick tutorial on disabling your home button and any touch on your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad with iOS 6. So this is great for when your kids are webcamming. Uh, that way they don't end the call um, or they don't hit the home button to close out and pause the video, any of those sorts of things. So this is a awesome, very useful trick. So first things first, um, go into your settings and in your settings make sure that you are on the general tab. Okay, and then down at the bottom you have your accessibility right here. So go ahead and tap on accessibility. Now in your accessibility down at the very bottom um, you have something called guided access under the learning header. So go ahead in there and then we want to turn this on. This is the feature that Apple rolled out in iOS 6 that allows us to do all this. So go ahead and turn, there we go, turn that on and uh, it'll give you a couple options. Um, you can enable screen sleep, uh, which as it says, the screen will dim after a period of inactivity. Presenting the sleep wake button will put the screen to sleep immediately. Um, and then also you can set the passcode. I like to set the passcode immediately uh, as a default passcode because when I'm enabling these features, when I started a phone call or a webcam or something uh, with, say, the grandparents, uh, it's it's a hassle to set a passcode at that time, so I go ahead and set a default passcode. So we'll go ahead and set it to one, two, three, four. We'll confirm one, two, three, four, and all that passcode does is it allows uh, you to exit guided access mode. All right. So the next step after this would be usually to go into whatever app that you want um, to you have limited access for your uh, for your child or is also good if you're displaying an app at a trade show or something of the sort um, where you don't want people exiting the app um, this is good for that so but for right now we'll just leave it in the system uh, the settings app here so the way you enable guided access mode is you get the home button down here triple tap it so we'll go one two three and that go ahead and pops it out into a guided access uh, menu here with a couple different options. So as you can see, the hardware buttons are always off. So that's the whole point of this thing. That'll disable the home button. Next, we have the touch. Um, this will tell you whether touch is enabled for the entire screen or is disabled. Um, the quick and simple solution is to uh, disable touch on the whole screen so you can see it kind of grays it out a little bit and then the other is motion so whether you want the app to be able to rotate or anything of this sort so now that we have touch disabled um, we'll go ahead and up to the top here and click the start button as you can see guided access mode has been enabled and so now Whenever we try to do anything on this on this screen, remember touch is disabled, so can't can't drag or do anything of those sorts. I can't can't turn that off. Can't go back here. All of the touch is disabled, and pressing the home button down here uh, pops off this message: guided access is enabled. Triple click the home button to exit. So, say we're done with our webcam, uh, we're ready to uh, end the call. We'll go ahead and one, two, three, triple tap it. That'll bring up the passcode menu to exit. One, two, three, four. And that brings us back to our options screen. So one of the other, real quick, one of the other uh, really cool features is instead of disabling all of the touch, you can only disable parts of the screen. So say you want to um, webcam. Uh, you want to disable the end call button but you want to leave the the flip camera button enabled so you can switch from the back camera to the front camera. So all you do is, for one, you don't disable the, the whole touch, so you leave that. And then you can see these words here, right? Circle areas on the screen you would like to disable. So in this case, 
Um, just for example, let's disable the on button for the guided axis. So we go ahead and just draw a circle around that. The iPad will go ahead and recognize the element so that it's going to disable. And then we can click resume. Or if this was brand new, it would be start. So resume. So as we can see, we're back in our app here. And our guided access button is not touchable, right? So we can we can move that button back and forth. There we go. We can also slide all the things we normally do in this app here. But this one is disabled as you can see. So we'll go ahead and triple tap one more time to get back to the settings screen. One, two, three, four. And so now we're done with the call, ready to be finished. Uh, we'll go ahead and tap the end button right there. And that will return everything back to normal. And as you can see, guided access has ended. This is extremely useful. Um, I know it's been a big annoyance for me with uh, the kid ending phone calls and ending web chats and all that stuff. So this will be uh, used a lot in our house. So hope you enjoyed. Hope it's helpful. And thanks for watching.